All right, so for the digital products lesson right here, I created another document just like the affiliate marketing lesson. And just like that lesson as well, I'll probably have a video under this one where I talk a little more about like how to create like a digital product and stuff like that. But in this one, I'm gonna explain like the examples of digital products and like pros and cons and then just show you some actual channels that are using these and all of that okay so f the first part is what are digital products and basically it's a product that's digital that you create right also you can be an affiliate for digital products like i talked about but these are some examples of digital products so you got like audiobooks or audio recordings you got ebooks or like cheat sheets, guides, stuff like that. You got courses or memberships. You got software or Chrome extensions. You got like presets. People sell presets for like video or photo editing to make like a photo look cool. It's like their, their preset like effects basically. And uh, then they got like video graphics, which are like lower thirds that pop up like subscribe to Thomas Garrett's or press the like button. So like things like that or animations. Okay, then I guess music could be a digital product, you know, uh, there's digital art, and then there's like tons of templates. Like if you go to Etsy and type in templates, there's templates for everything like brochures, calendars, templates for social media posts, script templates, like, you know what I mean? Oh, another one could be like a case study. And that's usually like a video case study or like a written case study of you like, this is how I made a $1,000 with affiliate marketing or whatever, that's just an example, but yeah. Or this is how I lost 50 pounds with this diet case study. So that's that. Now, what are the pros of digital products? So you create the product one time and you can sell it unlimited times. There's no middleman like there is with affiliate marketing, so you're direct to consumer. So that's 100% profit margins, literally, unless you're paying for like paid ads. Uh, and then it's available worldwide. Right? There's no shipping to different countries or worrying about that. And it's easier to manage than physical products. You don't have to store it anywhere. It doesn't expire, right? So that's cool. But there are some cons, all right? And I'm just being real with you. So it always takes much longer to create than you'd expect, right? So uh, it can get outdated if you don't update it, right? So like, yeah, you could sell it unlimited times, but if you're selling something you made 10 years ago, the information may be outdated and similar to like a software or a Chrome extension can stop working if a platform updates or changes a, a rule or something it can completely make the software useless that's happened to a software I bought where Facebook changed something and it just stopped working which is kind of annoying right but uh, also it's hard to sell without an audience already created right and you need to pay for software, sometimes multiple, and learn how to use those software to host and or sell your digital products, right? And this is something I've talked about plenty of times, but yeah, that's probably, I bolded it because I feel like that's the biggest, uh, the biggest con, to be honest. Now, right here, I have different ways to use digital products, okay? So this is like different ways to like host and sell digital products, okay? So the first way is uh, a company hosts and sells it for you. So this is like level one price and difficulty, okay? So for example, you could have an online course that you uploaded to Skillshare or Udemy. So those are like course platforms where they charge like a monthly fee or they charge for the course and then they don't charge you to use the software, but they charge like a revenue share. Right, so like Skillshare, I don't know what it is, but let's just say they take 30% of all profit or all revenue from your courses, right? That's just an example, I don't know what it is. But that way, you don't have to run the software yourself. They deal with keeping the customers. They deal with uh, hosting everything, right? You don't need like a video hosting site. You don't need any of that. And uh, it, it does make things a lot easier, right? But you're gonna make less money because then it's not all profit. And uh, yeah, and then same thing with like an audio book on Audible, right? With Amazon's audio thing, revenue share, okay? Now the next one is you host and sell on one company, 
okay? So this is level two price slash difficulty. And this is out of like five, I guess, I don't know. But I'm just trying to give like a visualization of how difficult it is. But basically, this could be like an online course on Thinkific or Teachable. Okay, so right here is an example of the YouTube channel video that I found it on. So right here, this is the example channel Cooper Academy. And I just clicked on his most recent video here. And in his description, he's got this, okay? So obviously he has an affiliate link there too, but this is what I'm talking about. The Sven Carlin Expert Investor Portfolio and Free Investing Course, okay? So if we click on that, you can see his little subdomain here and then dot teachable.com, okay? So you can see he has a free course, okay? And then he has a paid course, okay? And this is ran through Teachable. So he can host it on Teachable, so he doesn't need a video host or anything like that, as well as he can set up the sales process on Teachable. So like if we click here, he has a landing page where he, he talks about the program. And then if, he, if you click enroll in the course, it's gonna take you to the checkout page, which is all through Teachable, all right? So it's all through Teachable. And I believe, I've never used Teachable, but I believe you can connect an email software to Teachable, but I know a lot of people do not do that. So it's like, basically they're just selling the course and that's all they care about. And emails can be very profitable, but again, if you're not good at copywriting, it's not as profitable as people say it is. Let's just, let's just go with that, all right? But uh, this is much more simple than a lot of other ways. But also, it's not gonna be as profitable but sometimes having a more simple process will be more profitable because you're spending the, the time you would be spending on something because you're like confused or there's too much software or whatever on making videos, on making more videos, right? Or whatever. And that will make you more money. So it, it just depends, okay? Now, another example of doing this is a digital download on DPD cart. So I showed you this example back in the very first video. This is Michael Seeley. And um, if we go to his description here, you see the download, the sweet sleep hypnosis as an audio MP3. And it goes to dpdcart.com, which is just like a digital product delivery where you can put your, your eBooks, you can put your audio downloads and you can have the checkout page here and then they deal with everything. So it's, it's again, just one company them dealing with it, okay? So it's it's much easier than a lot of ways. You know what I mean? Now I added this one in here. So digital downloads on a Shopify shop. This is a bit more difficult than DPD cart, but Shopify is more for like, you wanna be like branded. Honestly, this one probably should be right here because if you wanted an email software, which I do suggest getting, because even though it's like e-commerce with like digital products, Having an email helps, right? So maybe I'll just, I don't know, what I will just leave it there because you could just use Shopify. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to show it as an example because like you could have like your own branded shop, right? So for example, if we go here, this is um, the What If YouTube channel and they got a huge subscriber count. So they're like a brand, right? With 5 million subscribers, but they have a shop. So right here, if we go here, this is their shop dot what if show dot com so they have like their own website but they have their shop subdomain as their if we go scroll down you can see powered by shopify okay so you can connect a subdomain to your main domain right so you can make shop dot what if show dot com and make that your shopify branded store right just like i have for my click magic i have go dot thomasgarrets.com and in your web hosting you can just create like a subdomain it's super simple but the only reason you would ever need to use a subdomain is if you already have a website using your main domain name like how what if show already has like their own blog that's why they have the subdomain shop for their shopify store because they can integrate it with their website and that's why i have the subdomain for my link tracker click magic because I already use thomasgarrets.com for my website, if that makes sense. I just wanted to add that in quick to clarify. But basically, they have a hardcover here, but if you go right here, they have the ebook version, okay? And obviously, they have like shirts, hats, and all that stuff, and 
a branded shop is is definitely more difficult than like dpd cart but this if you have like a brand going and you want to get like a brand going and you could print on demand and you could add in digital products shopify might be the the way to go but for most people if you're just doing like audio downloads and maybe an ebook or two or so i don't know whatever dpd cart is probably better than shopify all right now this is the the last option here and this is the most difficult five out of five price and difficulty level so it's you host and sell with two plus software okay so there's a couple different ways to do this all right so you give away a free digital product on a landing page or website to collect an email and then you send emails out with an autoresponder okay so just like i talked about in the affiliate marketing one same idea except for it's your own product rather than someone else's product you know what i mean so i'll just show you quick examples because i think you understand this um, this guy is in the uh, dating advice for men niche and he actually has an affiliate product on clickbank that's his own which i'll show you on the next example but right here for advanced free training and more go here so we go here this is his website so it's not like a, a funnel whereas like I use a funnel the difference is you don't have all these menus and different things it's just one page that's focused on getting an email and his is kind of the same right he focuses on getting an email here you can see it right email email but then he has all this menu stuff and it's kind of distracting right so that's the the reason for using a funnel or a single landing page rather than a website you know what I mean because if we go to like my website thomasgarrett's.com you can see this is like the same opt-in page or capture page I use on my funnel except it's on my website and there's a lot more stuff around you know what I mean so same idea but not gonna get as high of a rate of people entering their emails right and then again <laughs> uh, wait you know enter your email here to get my affiliate marketing guide right so I do the same thing I guess I'll show you my funnel for my guide which is a digital product okay so right here is my affiliate marketing guide which is just five steps right and then they enter their email it's just like a, a free guide and I get their email and then what happens is so if we enter our email here they get directed to this page and this is a bridge page where I talk about legendary marketer and then I say start the business challenge here right super simple that's how I do it I said the same thing for affiliate marketing and then this is the same thing with digital products like yeah I could sell an affiliate marketing course but I don't have an affiliate marketing course so I'm selling an affiliate marketing challenge because it's related to the affiliate marketing guide right so that's why being niche specific is super important and doing things the right way okay and yeah so that's my strategy for that and that's the first way of doing this now the second way is sell a digital product rather than give away what they call a lead magnet or a free digital product to get an email okay so you sell any digital product on a landing page or website so obviously a payment processor then is required and then after that then you send emails with an autoresponder so same idea except you sell on the front end okay so again example number one right here is this guy I was talking about he has two products it's the same thing and it's on Clickbank you could actually promote this product as an affiliate but this is the system and this is the audiobook of it so right if we click both of these this is the system it's a long form sales letter and you scroll down all the way and you hit add to cart and it's $47 and you see all that right and you can see again this is for the audiobook and in the right, bottom right corner you see Clickbank trusted secure checkout so that's through Clickbank and it's the same thing <laughs> except it's the audiobook version right so you see here audiobook all right and then this is through Clickbank right there you can see it and that's one way of doing it right and then he's collecting emails and he's marketing to them after that all right example number two this is investor this is just him selling a course you know he uses teachable as well I don't know if this is actually a teachable landing page like how the other guys has said dot teachable but you can add your own domain like investor YT method to teachable but this is his landing page selling his course but if you hit enroll now you can see 
he sells it on Teachable, okay? And same thing as the other guy, except this is two software because I think the first page was a separate software. I'm not positive, but regardless, then you email afterward. And then example number three was me, right? You enter in your email, same idea. You go to the next page, you purchase the course, and then you get emails after. If you don't purchase the course, you still get emails, right? But yeah, so that's the idea. That's kind of like how internet marketing works. That's like the process, right? So uh, I did show three other examples, just like video graphics, which we talked about was one of them. So this is Nick Nimmin. And if we go into his description, he has the website Tuber Tools right here. This is actually for a membership he started selling, which is new. And I guess you can get access to everything as like a member. But if we just go to tubertools.com and then hit enter. He's selling like these motion graphics or call to action graphics, end screen animations, like super cool, right? But these are digital products. He made them one time and he can sell them unlimited times. So this is super cool. And then the other ones was presets, which this is just a random photography channel. But if we go to her description, you see my presets right here. So it's on her website and she's got all her presets which show kind of what the picture would look like using the preset, all right? And then the last one, if we go here, this is one that you probably won't use unless you're in this niche. But this guy, Top 5 Gaming, he literally makes videos about Fortnite, like all Fortnite. So in his description, he has the item shop code which is T5G for top five gaming because the item shop code is basically like an affiliate code. So anytime someone buys something in the Fortnite shop, he's getting a commission, okay? So it's not really a digital product, but I did want to mention that because it's interesting. And if you're teaching gaming stuff or showing certain gaming stuff, that could be dope, right? So basically that's that, that's uh, digital products. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll probably add a video below this video. If it's there already, you know it's there, but if not, I will be creating one eventually. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. And I'll see you on the next video.